Chapter 6. Stanley took a shower. If you could call it that, a dinner. If you could call it that, and went to bed. If you could call his smelly and scratchy cot a bed. Because of his scarcity of water, its camper was only allowed a four-minute shower. It took Stanley near the long to get used to the cold water. There was no knob for hot water. He kept stepping into, then jumping back from the sperry until the water shot off automatically. He never managed to use his bar of soap. Soap, which was just as well because he wouldn't have, have had time to rise off the rinse off the studs. Dinner was some kind of stewed meat and vegetables. The meat was brown and the vegetables had once been green. Everything tasted pretty much the same. He ate it all and used his slice of white bread to mop up the juice. Still, he had never been one to leave food in his plate, no matter how it tasted. What do you do? One of the campers asked him. At first, Stanley didn't know what he meant. They send you here for a reason. Oh, he realized, I stole a pa pair of sneakers. The other boy thought that was funny. Stanley wasn't sure why, maybe because their crimes were a lot worse than stealing shoes from a store. Where were they on someone's feet? asked Squid. Uh, neither, Stanley answered. They belonged to Clyde Livingstone. Nobody believed him. Sweet feet, said Ephraim. Yeah, right. No way, said Squid. Now, as Sally lay on his cot, he thought it was kind of funny in a way. Nobody had believed him when he said he was innocent. Now, when he said he stole him, nobody believed him either. Class Sweet Feet Living Soon was a famous baseball player. He led Amer American League in stolen base over the last three years. He was also the only player in history to average four triples in the one game. Stanley had a poster of him hanging on the wall of his bedroom. He used to have the poster anyway. He didn't know where it was now. It had been taken by the police and was used as evidence of his guilt of the courtroom. Clyde Livingstone also came to court. In spite of everything, when Stanley found out that Sweet Feet was going to be there, he was actually excited about the prospect of meeting his hero. Clyde Livingstone test find that they were his sneakers and that he had donated them to help raise money to for the homeless shelter. He he said he couldn't imagine what kind of horrible person would steal from homeless children. That was the worst part for Stanley. His hero thought he was no good dirty rotten thief.